back in Thunder Valley, still under caution, and Jimmy Johnson's walked out of the infield care center. Jimmy, Robbie is saying on his radio that you missed a shift. What happened? Just like every form of racing he's ever been in, there's always it's always somebody else's fault. He had me turn sideways before we even took the green. I didn't even have a chance to grab a gear. He was beating my bumper cover off me coming to the green because he wanted to restart in front of me. I'm trying to get my lap back as well, so he's just crying up a river like he always does. It's a shame. We got a chance to win the championship, and we get, get spun out before we even take the green on a restart. It's just it's wrong. You can see the frustrations running high down here in the garage area, guys. Now, Robbie Gordon has been on pit road serving his penalty. Uh, a moment ago, we intercepted this radio traffic from his car to his team. Robbie, they're going to come in and hold you for two laps. What? It's not right because he missed the gear shift. They're going to hold me for two laps. place now back on the track and we're back on the way it's getting intense Johnny Benson and Kurt Busch right on his back bump oh yes and Kurt Busch is on the apron of the racetrack wow we saw Jeff Gordon do that earlier and, and they're still, still on each together. other Kurt Busch to the lead I wouldn't go too high if I were you and leave that bottom open, Kurt, because there will be a, somebody visiting you on the bottom of the racetrack. Yeah, yeah. and a big B on his hood. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I'd let that 10 get close right now. And you know right now, that's what Johnny's thinking. Just let me get back to his bumper, please. I think I can see the smoke coming out from under his helmet from here. And Johnny's not a guy that likes contact in his racing. He wow! Might... Oh, Matt Kenseth gets... Was that uh, Elliot a shot? Bill Elliot a shot, yeah. yeah. And Elliot's going to lose a lot of positions because of that. Like I said a little while ago, BP, the fuses are about, they're, they're already been lit and they're short right now. Oh, yeah, that, that fuse is, is burning down. Get to the last hundred laps and everybody's in a big hurry. Kurt Busch leads, Johnny Benson is second, Matt Kenseth third, Kevin Harvick is fourth, Jimmy Spencer's fifth, Bobby Hamilton is sixth, Sterling Marlin seventh. None of those cars pitted on that last caution. Then you've got Rusty Wallace in eighth. He got off pit road first. Jeff Gordon is in ninth. And Tony Stewart is tenth. Followed by Bobby Labonte, Ward Burton, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Mike Wallace, who got back on the lead lap at that last yellow. And Jeff Burton, who continues to hang in there as the last car on the lead lap, despite all the front-end damage he got in a wreck earlier. I just have to think, BP, that this tire thing is going to play out for the guys that did stop the tires when it gets down closer to about 30 or 40 laps to go. Well, I, all I know is that Elliott Sadler last spring, I believe it was, stopped and ran about 155 laps on tires on no one could pass him. This spring, Kurt Busch did the same thing, I think, 157 laps on the same set of tires, and no one could get by him. Well, Jimmy Spencer did get by him, but we all know he was able to get back by Spencer. Matt Kenseth will be looking to run 172 laps. Battle for second spot, there goes Kenseth. On that tank of fuel and tires that he's got now for the 17 car. Checking the uh, tank up venting with some smoke. We'll see some shit that'll push in there. Sure. Anything would be a, a left rear tire rub. The way those guys were leaning on each other. Although it doesn't look like it's smoking too bad right there. Here comes Kevin Harvick. Pressure in Benson. There's a third spot there. Marty. In the compound, that Allen, his car is tight and seems to be getting tighter the longer he runs. Johnny did lead earlier in this race, and believe it or not, as Kevin Harvick goes underneath him, one more car going by Johnny Benson, Jimmy Spencer probably will do the same thing in turn one. Believe it or not, those are the first laps that Johnny had led all year long. Benson shuffled back now to fifth place. 
Now look at this Hornets desk behind him. Sterling Marlin is running in seventh, and he's got the guys on the fresh tires kind of bottled up here. And the 19, Jeremy Mayfield, is two laps down in 26th place. All right, Matt. Sterling, those guys, once he gets by Jeremy Mayfield, he may have a lot of trouble on his rear bumper. Well, Benny, that's exactly what Sterling was talking about to crew chief Lee McCall. He said his car's a little bit snug. He thinks it will come to him. Uh -oh. But he is worried about the Burton guys behind him. Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Ward Burton were racing for 12th spot. Now Ward's in the wall. And the caution flag is out again. And where Ward crashed, looked like he may have gotten some help. Wow. <laughs> Schrader split in the middle trying to get his lap back. Almost identically the same spot that his teammate, Hutt Strickland, yeah, crashed. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I am wicked. Yeah, I think you're going to, if you would have heard the end of that. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be good. If we can get this thing fixed, <laughs> we're coming back out after him. One of the hardest places I've ever hit Martinsville. Lost my brakes going into three. At all those half mile racetrack, you crash hard. He didn't even take the helmet off to get out of the car. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's mad. Yep. And he's looking for who did it. I'm talking to the 22 guy up here. That was Ty Norris, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s car. I tried to get out of it. He kind of, you know, was abrupt on his entrance. Didn't give me much time. I mean, if he's going to cut me off, they'll not, you know, give me a little bit of time to get out of the gas or he's going to get the fun out. All right, I talked to him. That ain't going to do any good, Ty. No. No. The emotions are running very, very high right now. I talked to him maybe next Friday. Yeah, <laughs> at Darlington. <laughs> and now the call goes out on the NASCAR radio for the driver and crew chief of the 22 to go to the big red truck and the race is over. That big red truck is going to be busy, I oh, think. Oh, it's going to be. All right, let's see if we can see what happened and why Ward is so upset. On board with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Come off turn two, start down the back stretch. Junior gets a run. He thinks he has enough, but just barely makes contact with Ward. And bam, in the wall. And that's why. But there was contact. And here Twice. we go. Well, he's got a better throw than Alan Beswick. Probably does. <laughs> oh, Kyle, John, tell me, who's your favorite driver out there?